Good morning from El Salvador. Um, don't I have some things to show you? Yes, I do. Hello there. My name is Yoda and this is Tudor. And of course, our little Polo. For the last six months, we have quite literally been around the world. From our base in New Zealand, to Greece with our family, to the incredible Azores in the middle of the Atlantic, the sandy beaches of Antigua, and many more. We decided to live parenthood in our own terms and take our baby on his first around the world trip. The latest adventure has taken us to the incredible El Salvador, a little country in Central America famous for its stunning volcanoes and Pacific coast. In our second set of adventures in El Salvador, we explored the traditional villages of the Salvadorian highlands, enjoyed incredible volcanic views, but most of all had to overcome and adjust our plans to accommodate a very unexpected development. Okay, so this was our plan and this is what we are faced with. This is uh, the... What is it called? Um, the proverbial end of the road because the bridge is a walking bridge, not a car bridge and we should have trusted that our intuition when it said faster route it means dirt roads, chickens and dogs. Okay. Are they gonna let us through? Can you see this gang? Jesus. And we have a warning light on the rental car, so yeah. if it breaks down, this would be a really bad time. Jeez, a pack of wild dogs. This was four minutes faster. This was four minutes faster, eh? Not including the fact that we would have to disassemble the car <laughs> and carry it across that little bridge and then start driving again. Yeah. Made it too. A lake. I'm not even sure I'm gonna try to pronounce the name. Tudor has an interview in two minutes. The baby has gone number twos. I am just a hot mess. So the adventures of this family just keep on continuing. But uh, at least we have the most awesome view to say goodbye to the day. And I hope everything's gonna be okay. And this is the air conditioning. I just realized this is probably the worst spot to vlog. But anyway. starting another breastfeeding session with a view because we couldn't climb the volcano because people without babies don't realize how much work it is to hike with a baby <laughs> and the reality is we're not like super prepared for long hikes so instead of a 40 hour hike that we were prepared for it's more like two and a half hours each way so we will just uh, take the pictures from the viewpoint and feed this little guy with yet another beautiful view what do you think of Santana? But yeah, we were saying, what a beautiful little country. El Salvador literally has everything. We were in a beautiful lake this morning and now we're in a beautiful like mountaintop with all those amazing volcanoes and craters. And then two days ago, we were surfing along the coast. So it really has everything for every type of traveler. To the moon. We just got to our room over here in, god those little names are hard to pronounce, Juwaya. And this is the view from it. How amazing is this view? We can see straight into, I don't think it's the same volcano we were seeing this morning. And I can see something is built on the side of it. It's very interesting. Well, we're going to explore the food festival soon, but before I show you this, look at this little guy. Yasu! 
Are you excited to not be in the car? Dixie, what did I catch you? Ne? What did I catch you? Oh. Yeah, Dixie, what did I catch you? Ah. Ah. Does it wow? Does it wow? Tell us does it wow? Ne? Is it very polite, cool, is it serious? We are in the Ruta das Flores, or Des Flores, I'm not sure exactly how to say this. But this is where the famous food festival takes place every weekend. And although it's not the weekend, it's pretty happening. So we will be tasting some more local delicacies. Do you see the whole thing? Yeah. Uh, there's a pivot in the middle. I think that's the same, but like... Yeah, that's really nice. It's almost like a sour peach. Just a little donkey. Just a little donkey. With a little diaper. <laughs> Good morning from El Salvador. Um, don't I have some things to show you? Yes, I do. First off, this little kitty cat that loves our steps. Okay, this is probably a good time to explain what is going on. In brief, Tudor has been helping a group of over 30 pregnant women since October that have been challenging the current quarantine system in New Zealand as they're currently pregnant and unable either to go back to New Zealand themselves to give birth or their partner or spouse is overseas and they're unable to come as well. As you can imagine, the story has gathered a lot of attention and Tudor has been getting tens of interview requests pretty much every single day for the last three days so any plans we had for El Salvador went to the back burner a little bit so this might be a little bit confusing but let me show you my favorite thing about what happened during one of those interviews <laughs> those 30 uh, seven of those have required court cases at the high this is <laughs> That's that's my only that's my only tie. Oh no! Oh dear! She was okay. pushing something. Oh, buddy! Before. Okay, help, <laughs> darling. This is too needed. Okay, thanks. <laughs> okay, this is not. Tudor and Apollo just finished their first interview, and uh, uh. Um, that's Apollo's reaction to the MIQ banning pregnant women from coming she back says, to New Zealand. Okay. Good job, my bunny. Good help. job. 